my favorite thing about Battersea is the dogs. I love the dogs. I come in, it's my happy place. I'm smiling as I'm driving down to Battersea. I'm just smiling, I'm grinning from ear to ear thinking I'm spending the day with the dogs. I love it. Hi, I'm Vicky. I'm a kennel support volunteer at Battersea Old Windsor. Hi, I'm Norman. I'm also a kennel support volunteer at Battersea Old Windsor. When we arrive, we normally go into the volunteer socialising room. Morning, Norman. Morning, Vicky. How are you? We have a book in there that tells us all about the dogs. Have you been through the diary? Have you got... I've just had a look through it, yeah. Oh, darling's been out already. Little Yorkshire Terrier. Yes. Ready to go. I think one of the best things about coming into Battersea, getting here first thing in the morning, hearing the dogs barking, you think, what a cracking day ahead. Today, we're coming here, we're going to prepare a meal for Darling, who's a little Yorkie. And how much is she on, Norman? Uh, 28. Sometimes when you come in, you just put the food down and you're able to have a quick word with the dog and walk away. And other times you have to actually sit with the dog and make the dog feel a bit more comfortable and then just hand feed the dog. She wants you to take her home. Oh, I'd love to see. <laughs> no, come on. Friends of mine say, why do I volunteer at, at Battersea? Because we have another dog rescue closer to where I live. But because I got my cats and my dog from Battersea, I want to give my time and my love back to the animals at Battersea. Every morning when we come into kennels, we have to clean the kennels down because the dogs have been in here overnight. We're going to the laundrette because we have to empty the kennels with all the dirty stained blanket sheets, etc. Get them to the laundrette to start cleaning for the day. Another pile ready for the kennels. Hello, Snowdrop. He's a good girl. This is Snowdrop, she's a white lurcher. Uh, she's approximately a year old. Uh, we don't really know too much about her background. But she's, uh, she's settled quite well since she's arrived at Battersea. And uh, yeah, I think she'll be up for rehoming pretty soon. I'm going to read you a little story from a drop called One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Part one. What the chronics are, or most of us, are machines with flaws inside. The reason we read books to the dogs is it helps them to relax, it calms them down, and it makes them happy to solid buildings, yes. It's getting better and it's getting more exciting now. As you can see, she seems to be enjoying it. Hey, Snowdrop, he's a good girl. He's a good girl. Good girl, come on, Blake. Good girl. <laughs> so satisfying, you're watching them you know, using their noses, sniffing, having to work to find foods, get some out of the kennels, and it keeps the dogs happy and it gives me some satisfaction. Hey, hey, hey. It's okay, it's alright. Alright, we're going to go this way, baby girl. Uh, we're just walking uh, Blake and Fly along the sensory garden. We've got numerous plants here that either energise or calm the dogs. Every week I come in here is a different week. The jobs might be the same, but the experience every week is a different experience. And you go home at four o'clock, absolutely exhausted. <laughs> there you go, two happy dogs. Thank you so much for your Oh, you're welcome. Well, see you next week. Yeah, see you next week. All right, thanks. Bye. Bye. I shall see you next week then. See ya. Bye. Bye.